oh, projects on the farm are for fair, and sometimes they're for decoration, and sometimes they're for gifts, and sometimes they're for all of it. So this is my daughter's um, used kind of metal supply, um, raising rods, goggles, glasses, start here of a future 4-H project for the year. Um, got safety glasses and some, you know, lighter welding glasses. She's got some old wrenches. She's got some old pistons. She's got a can version, um, uh, acetylene torch. She basically runs off of two cans here to start with that I've used just on a rare occasion when I need to braise something together. And she's, you know, been doing some welding as you've seen in previous videos over the last couple of years. And at this point, she's just kind of learning to, to braise two metal objects together, starting with washers. And the first thing she's making here is butterfly. She's using an old wrench that we got off a, off a um, garage sale. She's got some pistons that we took out of an engine that she can work with. She's got a bunch of old washers and nuts that she picked up from a garage sale, some cotter pin type things that she's got. And she's going to turn this into some type of metal artwork. But the one thing I realized while she's trying to make this butterfly, and this is about March here when she's starting this, is we really had difficulty with the two can system. You know, you, you buy a, like a nap gas or map gas and you buy some, you know, um, sticks and that didn't get hot enough. So then, of course, you got to buy an oxygen tank and, and some acetylene and, you know, you, you've got it on this, you know, can system here, these little tiny cans that you buy like at Menards. It lasts for about one object, so it's nothing like when you buy the, the bigger little tanks and run it on a true little blue knife, if you know what I mean, or a little settling torch. So thankfully, after we got done making this butterfly, we were able to use one of our church friends um, for guidance, and he had a little um, blue knife or a settling torch, and we used that to kind of get our bearings, and then we actually went out and uh, um, got her... Uh, acetylene torch for for brazing that's nice and small because my big torch would just roach this so you're seeing this here on this kind of makeshift can torch where you've got basically a red can and um, a green can and trying to make it work and you know she's learning she's she's doing the best she can you know some puddling and and figuring out of things the wrench is a different thickness than what the washers are and she's trying to get them at angles She's trying to heat it enough, which is why, you know, we went through several cans of gas until we eventually figured out we just needed to make the investment for her. But it's all part of learning, isn't it, folks? I mean, you can't learn to weld. You can't learn to braise without, you know, burning through a few things and, and getting through it. It's, it's just part of the game. So as she's learning to do this and make a nice decorative piece of art that she can give away and, you know, take something to the fair and see if she can, you know, impress the judges and win at, it, it's kind of what it is. This is what it turned out like. She's got a piston uh, for a stand. She's got four washers on it, two old bolts and a thing. And then this is what we ended up with. We said, screw it. Um, again, after using our church friend's um, acetylene torch that was small like this, we decided we needed to just invest in this for her so she could have it. So we went down to a local welding shop, which is about, oh, I don't know, an hour from here. And... Um, was able to pick one of these victors up and get ourselves a couple tanks. Obviously, red's acetylene, uh, green's oxygen. She gets a nice little tip on it. It'll work really well, so that'll work good for her. She's got, you know, some eye protection and a little starter that comes with it. That, that's all just kind of cute and nice. It's portable. She can pick it up and go where she wants to go in the future with it. So now we're on the new piece of equipment. She's absolutely loving it. She can get a neutral flame a lot easier. Um, she's literally able to you know cut with this little devil and of course you know in this case sprays with it she's making snails here um she's using a cotter pin and a little piece of recycled l metal we found um and then basically a big nut again all this is recycled stuff that she's working with um i think i'm going to actually have her mounted on an old piece of recycled uh, uh redwood and we'll see if we can make it work here she's taken a couple bolts and um a couple little washers and another cotter pin, and she's going to weld up a little a little bee. Um, as far as her design goes, she just looked at some of the, you know, other people's metal artwork on, on one of the internet channels and kind of got the design down and just figured out how to do it. Um, maybe it's not 
the prettiest bee yet, but you know, with a little bit of sanding and polishing, she can turn this into something nice. So here she's trying to make a flower, trying to hold the the uh, rod up for her. Um, a lot of the things she mounted on, like I said, old pistons, but she had this rod that's threaded on one end and she's putting a, a washer to the bottom of it. And then to the bottom of these washers and pistons, she plans on putting magnets and making it kind of more like a like a removable, almost toy gift, which which I think will be, which I think will be fun for people if 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 they enjoy metal art. So, again, and, and learning to braise is touchy. You kind of got to come in with the torch, melt, get out. Come in with the torch, melt, get out. And and, and you know here she's really starting to kind of pick up the, the technique. Um, I apologize for the video. I'm 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 trying to to get close and not burn myself as she moves and stuff too. So it's not always the easiest. Here's the top of it. She's making kind of a rosette of, of washers. Again, she's picked all this stuff up for just several dollars at a garage sale. So it's 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 all just being literally recycled into art. She's kind of learning her best to get it done. She's getting in there and getting the touchy spots done. Some of it's easier than others to do. Obviously, when you're getting used to the dark colored shades, welding glasses, whatever you want to call it, She's getting it done. It just it just takes her a little little bit of time, but she's figuring out how to do it. If you're wondering what this brick is, it is a fire brick. Yes, it's got a crack in it, but we've welded and done so many things on it over time. It's just taken its abuse, but we we'll keep doing it. So this is what she ended up with. Now we just sprayed them with a hammer, a hammer gray, um, which we had laying around. These are two little snails that she's got. The, the butterfly, once she sanded it up a bit, actually turned out pretty cute. Um, she wants to attach magnets to these to make them movable so she can move them around. Um, she made, um, I think, th two caterpillars. No, one caterpillar, two snails, and a bumblebee. There's a little caterpillar. She made two butterflies and a couple flowers. So next step was to take this piece of wood here. Um, it's It's got some old nails in it, which I think are going to work in her favor. And uh, she's going to drill some indents so that I can um, give her some some metal washers and get them in there and then she's hoping to work with magnets. She did have to do some chiseling. It took her a little bit of work. I had to kind of walk her through getting it out. Obviously it looks pretty easy on high speed but this took her a while. You can see the magnets there. She super glued the um, magnets to the top uh, or I guess the bottom of the washer and then to the top of the wood she's got washers and screws and then that way they can kind of sit down on it. Since most of the holes are pretty standard, she can kind of move them around. So we took these little tiny screws and screwed washers into the bottom of these holes. And then there's nails on the top of the board that she can use to put the rest of the critters on. So that actually worked out really good. She got the red oak stain out. Um, this piece of wood already has a tint of red to it. It's kind of a, an off brown with a red. So I had her um, restain it. I, I thought about, you know, varnishing it for her. And, you know, having her go through that, she's she's done some varnish work in the past. But, you know, really, I like the rustic look, and so did she. So we just decided that we'll take it to fair this way. So she's setting her little critters on these these nails that are in here. And the nail heads are, um, you know, grabbing onto the magnets. I, I guess I'm kind of partial to her spring-loaded caterpillar there, and, and her bee is quite cute. The butterflies are, are unique just because there's a wrench for a body. I mean, somebody might say I wasted a wrench, but, again garage sale stuff somebody was just getting rid of just got these two nice flowers one with kind of made out of washers and one that's made out of um uh, the cotter pins it really does it really does look nice when she got all done with it she put a little magnet on everything to make them hold in place and on the bee she put the magnet kind of on its nose so she can attach it to one of the flowers so this is this is what she's created um you know i ended up buying a torch for her Obviously, quite a few cans of gas at the beginning, but I think it's a good learning experience. It's uh, neat to have a have the ability to learn how to weld. It's neat to have the ability to learn how to braise. These are skills that are needed in the future, and I hope they I hope they benefit these kids. Um, I know sometimes they they look at me like I'm nuts for wanting to teach it to them, but when the project all comes together and they're happy with it, um, it's a pretty cool object. So. This is what she made. Um, you know, hopefully it does well at the county fair. Um, hopefully, whatever um, relative kid that we give this to can kind of in, kind of enjoy it, and it'll be fun. So, 
Um, at this point, um, this is the artwork. I just love that bee there. It's just, it's just cool. Um, I don't know what more to say. It's, it's what it is. But I'm uh, really pleased with how it turned out. I know she is. Appreciate you guys liking and following along as we've got a lot more videos like this. Thanks.